Hi, good morning, and hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products in focus. U.S. market rallied up again yesterday in the back of positive U.S. earnings, but had a little dip uh, as we start today's session as news filtered out as to the first Ebola case in New York uh, last night. A doctor returning from West Africa uh, who'd out, been out jogging and also been on the tube, so uh, there's been flyers handed out all across New York, and no doubt lots and lots of. Um, people were exceptionally worried what's going to happen next, but albeit they've been preparing weeks for their first case, so probably shouldn't be too bad, but it's an excuse for some people to take some profits, incidentally. We have seen a small amount of yen buying and a little bit of uh, gold buying as well, but nothing to write home about. We are in the middle of two ranges, as ever, uh, on the US 30, 16,598 and 16,738. Uh, bullish crossover on the MACD. Um, the RSI and Stochastic are both quite neutral. Uh, we have already bounced off uh, potential support already this morning at 16,598 as most European markets are looking a little bit top heavy this morning. So moving on to the UK 100, um, failing to break above the 21 period SMA. Again, just bang on that potential support at 63.90. Um, off the session lows, um, but looking at it from an intraday chart again, not looking so strong. Uh, we do look a little bit, looking at the last four candles at around about 64.20, could be a little short term potential resistance that will be worth looking at as well. So Japan 225, um, again the back foot looks to be resistance, 15488 is, uh, is still holding and that also coincides with the 21 period SMA. Um, bullish cross in the MACD, most global indices have got a cross, crossover on their daily interval MACD technical indicator. Um, but as ever it's all about the fundamentals and we do have a couple of things coming out there next week. There's not a huge amount today. Uh, we've got UK GDP which might be quite interesting for GDP USD. Um, if we actually fast forward on to Monday there, more UK data, nationwide price uh, house prices and uh, the housing index. So not a huge amount on Monday, uh, Tuesday, nothing really to write home about either so there's actually quite a big gap and uh, you know quite widely looked at fundamentals so um, perhaps the technicals are going to be more of a more of a driver so looking at um, dollar yen it had a beautiful technical breakout yesterday smashing above 107 spot 36 as the USD um, took uh, continued to wrestle control against the majors trading above the 21 period SMA which is now acting as potential support as well the question is are we now going to try and rechallenge 110 um, and certainly from the technicals, you know, the dollar is certainly advancing nicely. Um, that little bit of yen buying uh, or because of Ebola is uh, kind of slowly reversing because people obviously understand that it's, it's nothing more than just a singular case at the moment, of course. Moving on to crude oil West Texas, still looking a little bit weak. It did have a bit of a bounce there yesterday, uh, still a bit top heavy. As ever, the fundamentals do seem to be a little bit more negative than positive right now. Uh, we are away from any potential entry prices, so $84 is a resistance, 77 is a potential support. We are a little bit away from there just now. Gold surprised with its sell-off it had the last couple of days, so that's quite an aggressive sell-off, breaking the potential trend line, looking at the new potential support at 1218. Almost got a negative crossover on the MACD. We certainly do have a negative signal in the slow stochastic. That's only going to add more pain as the US dollar gains momentum and the US uh, macro data comes out uh, either on the figure or slightly above expectations. So, um, you know, last week's um, kind of wobble in the, in the market has almost been forgotten about. But certainly, um, this does not look as bullish as it was just a few days ago. So finishing up with the uh, euro dollar and cable, uh, euro dollar uh, trading on the wrong side of potential uh, support slash resistance at one spot six uh, twenty six sixty one. This is the, the strategic level, depending if you've got a long or short view on euro dollar. Um, but certainly, if we have a look at the client sentiment um, for euro dollar, um, that will give us a bit of an idea of what our clients are are currently thinking. Ninety six percent short. So that gives you an idea of what's happening right now. And um, if you look at GBP USD, again, building this consolidated base, um, it still seems to be having this kind of slow arc curve, build, building a base. Uh, so it doesn't look quite as weak as Euro dollar. Obviously, the, with, the, with the kind of USD still gaining a little bit of momentum, uh, Sterling needs to get some decent macro data up if it's going to uh, stop a progressively slow move to the downside. But um, it does seem to be one spot 6009 and one spot 5917 could be um, interesting levels to look at. And again, if we have a look at the client sentiment for uh, GBP USD, well, actually, our clients are very unsure. It's almost 50 50 right now. So perhaps Euro dollar is where most of the focus is right now. Keep your eye on the chart forum as ever for more uh, technical trade setups from our global analyst team. Make insights part of your layout and join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.